I purchased uh, the Napa, local Napa Auto Parts store here in 2004. Then, of course, in 2012, we got struck by lightning and burnt us to the ground. It was on May 18, 2012, and I was here until about 10.30 that night. I was spraying a 67 Cutlass convertible that we got done. Then I got home, and then I showered, and then I was in bed, and all of a sudden, I usually have my phone on silent, and I remember it going off, going off, going off, Well, then all of a sudden, somebody was pounding on my door, and I just had a sick feeling, you know, something happened, or, well then, all of a sudden they said fire, and I got down here, and the whole time I was like, it's not going to be that bad, you know, it's not going to be a bad day. I woke up to my pager going off saying that there was smoke coming out of a building in this general area. And before I could make it out the door, well, it came back across the pager that it was this place. My uh, <laughs> heart kind of sunk in my throat. They came to me and they said I could go in my office one time to grab everything that I needed out of it. I got grab my computers and some file cabinets and stuff, but other than that, Gone. You feel kind of lost because you go to work every day and then all of a sudden there's nothing to go to, but you never really expect, I guess you should always keep it in the back of your mind, but the only thing, especially with Napa, was that we have a computer backup that we, at that time, was on a rewritable disk and you took that home every night, and thank God I did because that had my complete inventory and everything listed on all my accounting records. And, and so I was kind of the poster child for Napa for a while too, for <laughs> making sure that you take home your backup every night and get it off site. Uh, we were able to find a building on the edge of town that both Jake and I worked out of during the summer. In a retail business, you find out in a hurry that being on 29 on a main drag, so per se, uh, is very, very important. Because being out there with very limited inventory and people not being able to find you, it just, you know, our business was very bad that summer. <laughs> so yeah, during that period of time, I lost quite a few customers, but they came back. All the contractors that we hired, we wanted to keep everything local, and they did an amazing job. They got us back into our buildings by the first part of November, we got us back up and running. 2012 was a rough year for me. Started working in here in October, but you know, everything wasn't set up yet, and it was just, it took a year to get going there, and insurance wise, I was nowhere near covered. We had some stuff, but you know, I was still kind of starting out. It was rough, so I was dealing with that, and then I lost my, I mean, I lost every tool I had. A lot of people, you know, their insurance has covered a lot of it, and then the, the little bit that I had, but like my tools and stuff, I didn't have nowhere near enough. I had no plan, backup plan of any kind or sort. Well, you say the biggest thing is your, uh, making sure your insurance is where it needs to be, making sure you know what it's covering. You know, cheaper always isn't always better. You know, if it's a retail like this, make sure you get your accounting records, your inventory records, everything needs to stay off site. So if something does happen, you've got that backup and you've got it there. That's the biggest two things I can think of. Yeah, I really wish I had a plan for disaster because it was a struggle. I mean, it, it, that put me in a bad spot. Yeah, because you always think that something like that won't happen to you. Right now, I got a very, very good disaster recovery plan. <laughs> I am insured to the gills now. Well, yeah, it was just, well, that was a wake up call. You know, that was a huge wake up call, I mean, I think for, for everyone. Now, I back up the files, I bring home um, cash in there. Yeah, I'll always be prepared for anything. I mean, anything from somebody vandalizing the outside of your shop to breaking in to, yeah, I mean, a fire like that, I mean, that could put, well, no, a small business under. A single emergency or disaster can affect multiple businesses, regardless of their size, uh, infrastructure, and or relationship with other organizations. 
It's important that businesses remember to consider their vendors, their suppliers, the inventory they have in stock, as well as their ability to acquire additional inventory, both on-site and off-site, as well as having their business records in a location that's easily accessible both before and after disaster.